Let's go to Washington, D.C. How do Turbo S? Do it. It is wild. I mean, I was do I was doing what, Ladesh? Like 85? Yeah. And that Equinox passed us going, must have been going, Cruising going a, a million miles an hour. It's horrifying. These people, like they're eating a sandwich on their phone, doing 140. I'm just trying to live my life and not die on 270 South. It's brutal out here. And we, all, we also saw the guy in the V6 Mustang with the uh, 3.7 badge on oh. the side. If you're watching, this is for you. That was heat. We enjoyed it. That was, that was heat. And the huge hood scoop, too. The huge, oh, oh. enormous hood scoop. Like WRX style, like up in the air hood scoop. Just fantastic. Exit one, Democracy Boulevard. <laughs> it's Democracy, right? That's how you pronounce it. It's yes. Democracy. Democracy Boulevard in like the Washington, D.C. area. Yo. Yo, what's up, buddy? You here? Yeah. All right, I'm pulling in now. I'm uh, I'm in a bright green Dodge Viper, and I'm pulling in now. I'm at, I'm at a sign that says Westfield Montgomery. Yeah. I'm at I'm at the Macy's. Yeah, there's a, there's a Macy's here. Okay. Somewhere. Where am I Where am I going? I'm at the Macy's. Uh, dude, I don't have to dodge you around here. I'm gonna say just drive around to see the car. And I'll eventually see you. Well, there's a bunch of cars. I'm with a lot of cars now, but I don't know where you guys are. Oh my God, Supra! Sorry. All right, I see a Supra. Uh, I see oh. lots of people standing oh. around. Lots of people standing around. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Oh, I see you. I see you. I see you. You okay. see me? All right, All right. Where am I at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just keep going straight. Okay. Where that T35 pulled out just now? Turn it. Making a left now. This is intense, I can set Turner. You, but. I can only fit you. The other people are going to have to find a spot. Oh, dude, this is chaos. Dude, this is no. Holy crap. That R8. I did not know it was going to be like this. Mike, this is insane. <laughs> All right, this I is see just you. I'm right in front of you. For the set, you're no. right in front. I don't see you yet. All right, so just pull up and then back up, and I would say just Next to the SF90? Yeah, by the SF90. Okay. Great shirt! Hell yeah! Loving that! Yeah, we're right now, though. So. This is absolutely insane. Turner. Hello. I thought that, I, I thought maybe like, ah, 20 people. Yeah. Dude, maybe 200,000 right now. This is insane. What's up, man? How are you? 500 is, cars? Dude, there has to be. This, this is ridiculous. The Savage Send-Off. Wow, that was uh, not what I was expecting at all, for sure. Um, again, I thought it was gonna be like kind of small, you know, a few people, a few cars, little cars and coffee, but that was insane. I was not prepared at all, um, but it was incredible meeting so many people, and I it was so chaotic and insane. I didn't even like break the GoPro out. I was 
I couldn't move all day. And it's been a while since I've done an event like that. I've done, you know, I do little meets and some people come to Corvettes of Carlisle, but those are all pretty low key. This was like, you know, back in the day, a huge event. Like I would, I was, if I was trying to get like 50 feet, I would, I would take a step you know, have a conversation, take a step, have a conversation with someone else, but it was tons of fun. Haven't done anything like that since pre all the crazy stuff going on in the world. Um, but that was incredible. So I do have some good news though. Let's jump into the, the nitty gritty of this upload. And I really have no idea what I'm gonna title it yet, um, but it's gonna be something Viper related because we actually have some really cool, like good news and kind of bad news, but the bad news is, is like my fault, not the Viper's fault. Also, if you're wondering where the ZR1 is, well, it's off to LMR. So it's gonna be uh, at LMR getting a retune for the bell so that we can run the car uh, without the air filter on and then have it at peak performance and everything for the October 10th um, race motive event. I was gonna try to make slipstream on the third here, October 3rd, but I don't think the car will be back in time because unfortunately you have to factor in like at least three days for shipping because truck drivers are only, I think you're only allowed to drive 10 hours a day. So I don't think I'm gonna make the slipstream event on the third, but I will make a race motive on October 10th. Anyway, uh, Viper News. Talk to Calvo and uh, they have, they're done with the car. And again, like I told you, when I before I even got the car, I was on their list so that when I got it, I wouldn't have to wait a year because the backlog, like with everything, is wild and getting parts takes a long time. Um, so I wanted to make sure that like you guys wouldn't be waiting a year or a year and a half when I got the car to actually do the twin turbo build. They finished up a car and said, hey, if you wanna be next, uh, we have an opening and you've been waiting. So we can get you in middle of October, which by the way, isn't like 20 freaking days. So it's way earlier than I expected, which is great news, but the bad part is I do have to pay uh, roughly half of the cost up front. And uh, the cost is not cheap, as you would imagine, about 50 grand for everything that I want. And we're going big build here. Like, it's not that it's not worth it because it really is. And Calvo, I think, makes the best by far. And it, the car is going to be insane. You guys are going to love it. But 50K is a lot of money. You know, I have the house build going on right now. And I thought that I would have like, four or five months to save up. It's like, I, I wanna take advantage of the spot opening up, but I almost can't really afford it right now with everything else going on. Um, maybe sell the Jeep, I don't know, but I really can't afford it. And that's one thing like, some people I think really have the wrong idea. And I got the laptop broken out here because I mentioned this before, like I totally rely on the giveaways for my income. Now my channel does make money. Really, I focus on making the videos really good. And you can see like, I'm about to drop 50K which is not even the full cost on one video. That's gonna be like one video for me. Now, yes, hopefully later on down the road, um, this car will produce more and more content and that it will start to make back that money. I do a lot of expensive stuff on the channel and it's not like the old days. Like the old days I would have to really scrape together every dollar I could on every upload because I didn't have any other income. So it was like, you know, if I was gonna put twin turbos on a Viper, I would make five videos talking about the twin turbos and all that, but that's boring. And that's why my views are better now than they were a year and a half ago, two years ago, because I do cooler stuff now over the last year. Content is more expensive. So if you do wanna support me, check out the F450 giveaway and I'll explain more here in a second, but the F450 giveaway is live right now. You can win that truck for every $1 spent, you get one entry to win that truck and $10,000 in chaindesigns.com. Link down below, about 30 days left for that. But yeah, if you wanna support me and this really big expensive undertaking I'm about to do, uh, <laughs> please check out the giveaway because some people do have the wrong idea. They think like, well, you have a million subscribers. Hey, you have a million subscribers. You must be making a million dollars per episode, but that's not how it goes. So I wanna show you my actual YouTube analytics. And, and again, I have talked about this before and people love it when I do, they really do. Um, Cause you guys, I think love seeing behind the scenes. And if you have a YouTube channel, you should go in and play around with the analytics. I don't, let me check the GoPro screen if you can see anything here. Um, but it's really cool. You can see like everything, audience, um, you know, you can see when your viewers are online, like what time of day, uh, what gender they have. Look, uh, so people who watch my channel also watch Whistle and Diesel, Cletus, Daily Driven Exotics, Stradman. That's a pretty good group to be in. I'm proud. I'm proud to be in uh, in that group there. But if you go back to the overview, um, you can see that uh, you know, looking good. Your channel got about the same number of views as usual. So this is my normal view range. Revenue here for the month is 28 grand. Now that's a good amount of money, 28,000. I'm showing you guys my actual webpage here with all the stuff on it. Um, but yeah, $28,000, that's a good amount of money, but the channel is a business. So you gotta remember like that 28K 
isn't just like, oh, I made 28, put it in my pocket. Like I spent probably over 30, maybe 35, <laughs> maybe more to make, to make that 28K. Like, as you can see, this one video um, is gonna cost me m way more than that. It'll take me two months on YouTube to even make back the kit cost, like doing the cool stuff and doing the big stuff. And I have a lot of fun doing that. And that's, I wanna give you guys like the badass content. I think that's why my views are good, better than they were before. That's why you can see, um, so I rely on the giveaways. I don't do sponsored videos, but pretty much every YouTuber does. I wouldn't say that the YouTube revenue is lower than it ever was. I think the ad rates are still about normal, at least mine have been. But I think that YouTube demands now crazier stuff. You're not gonna get the good views anymore doing like, you know, putting a, an exhaust on your car or new wheels. It just, that just doesn't fly. So you can see like everybody you watch, uh, Stradman, DDE, um, whatever, they pretty much, pretty much every upload is a sponsored upload. So they have their ad revenue and then they're making probably 10, 15, 20, $25,000 to talk about whatever product they have in it. Because again, the ad revenue just doesn't cut it. If you wanna have a bunch of cool cars, you're doing crazy builds, you're blowing stuff up, you're driving, you know, if you wanna do, if you wanna play the big game, ad revenue just ain't gonna cut it at all. So that's uh, just a little insight there. And I figured you guys would enjoy that. You guys always love when I talk about the finance side of the channel. But when I tell you like, <laughs> cause I made that comment, I was like, yeah, my channel makes no money. And I was like half joking, but I was being serious. I was like, yeah, my channel actually makes no money. That's 100% true. And I saw a comment saying like, yeah, right. You probably make a billion dollars on YouTube. Like, no, my channel doesn't even pay for to do the stuff that I do but that's fine, I have other income. Anyway, if you do wanna support the Twin Turbo build, check out the giveaway and uh, we'll make it happen for sure. I was not expecting this to happen this fast, but from a video standpoint, we're in good shape, boys. The Viper is gonna be twin turboed really quickly and uh, then we'll jump right, we'll freaking jump right into the first racing event. I can't wait, I'm pretty excited. I'm really starting to really connect with the car. You know, I, re I mean, it was sweet the moment I got it, cool car. Um, but you know, it takes some time to really kind of develop a relationship and the Viper's a, a different one. You know, I hop in a Lambo, pretty much love it right away. It's easy. This is its own animal. You know, you're in there, it's like a tight spot. It's a manual car. I haven't had a manual car in a long time. I know it's my car, so it sounds like not cool to say this, but it's, that car looks incredible going down the road. So I'm really excited about it. And I'm ready to uh, be making some whoosh whoosh noises and seeing some two-step flames coming out the side while I'm on the highway. It's gonna be epic. So I'm gonna go inside and figure out how to pay for the turbos. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Take care, have a great night, and I will see you in the next one. So we're out here in this beautiful field and we're going around asking people how they can possibly afford vehicles such as this amazing Platinum F450. What do you want? Oh my God, are you sleeping? Yeah, what do you want, dude? How, did you, want, how do you afford this truck? Oh, the truck? I want it on InChainDesigns.com and I got this t-shirt. And you sleep in it? Well, it's bigger than my house, so I figured it'd be nicer. Okay, let's go on to the next. Yeah, InChainDesigns.com, every one dollar. Let's go. So you can win this fully built, fully loaded F450 Platinum, and all you have to do is click that link down below where every one dollar you spend on InChainDesigns.com gets you one entry to win this truck and $10,000 cash. Don't miss your chance to win this life-changing opportunity.